ज्ञानाजन श्लाकय चक्षुर्मितचांगेन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतनमनोभीष्ट स्थात भूतले स्वयं रूपकदाह्यं ददा सपदातिक वंदेहं श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपरकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांगीरूपाग्रजा सघन रघुनाथ नितं सजीव साइत सवधूत पुरीजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादनलिता शिव शाखान्वता हे कृष्ण करुण सिंध दीन बंध जगतपते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिय बांशा कल्पतृभ्यश्च कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गिराधार शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृद्ध हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नारायण नरंग नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रयश भद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत से भगवत श्लोके भक्ति भवती नाइष्ट की हरे कृष्ण So this verse is Canto 
chapter 32, verse 6. Nibhiti dharma nirata nibhiti dharma nirata nirmama nirahankrita nirmama nirahankrita siddharma aptina Siddharma Aptena Sattvena Siddharma Aptena Sattvena Parishuddhena Chetasa Parishuddhena Chetasa Nivitti Dharma Nirata Nirmama Nirahankrita Siddharma Aptena Sattena Parishuddhena Chetasa Nivitti Dharma Nirata Nirmama Nirahankarita Siddharma Aptena Sattena Parishuddhena Chetasa Nirvitti Dharma Nirata Aptena Sattvena Parishuddhena Chetasa Hitti Dharma Nirata Nirmama Nirahankrita Siddharma Aptena Sattvena Parishuddhena Chetasa Nibhiti Dharma in religious activities for detachment. Nirata constantly engaged. Nirmama without a sense of proprietorship. Nirahankrita without false egoism. Sadharma by one's own occupational duties. Aptena executed. Satvena by goodness. Parishuddhena completely purified. Chetasa by consciousness. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. By executing one's occupational duties, acting with detachment and without a sense of proprietorship or false egoism, one is posted in one's constitutional position by dint of complete purification of consciousness and by thus executing so-called material duties, he can easily enter into the kingdom of God. So I'll go through this translation again. So by executing one's occupational duties means doing your work, what you're supposed to do, your duty. But acting with detachment so that means uh, acting with detachment means nivritti uh, dharma and Prabhupada explains there's pravritti and nivritti pravritti means attached to the result to sense gratification 
Nivirti means detached. So here it says with detachment, acting with detachment. So one, you're doing your duty, your work, your job, but with detachment. And without a sense of proprietorship. Nirmama, it has this word, second line. Nirmama. So that means you don't own it. You don't own the results of your work. So who owns the results? Bhagavan. Without a sense of proprietorship or false egoism. That's nirahankrita, nirahankar or nirahankrita. So this uh, second line, the word at the end, nirahankrita. So ahang, krita means I do. I'm the doer. So ahankar means I do. So this this is a false idea because the so many there are so many things that are acting the material nature is acting the super soul is arranging so I don't do anything meaning that the the supreme is arranging so by executing one's duties with this detachment and in this way, one is posted in one's constitutional position by dint of complete purification of consciousness. So this is a little difficult language. That this means sadharma aptena. Uh, aptena means that you execute your svadharma. You're doing your duty. In the previous verse, it says, ye svadharman na duhyanti. So, uh, kama artha hetave. So the kama artha hetave. Hetu means the, the reason. Why are we doing our duty the, for the materialist that hetu, that reason is kamarta for the to get some kama to get some sense gratification so here it says that the uh, now in these two, three verses this is the second in the series in these verses uh, it's uh, Kapil, Kapil Dev, yes. Kapil is describing how the pure devotee acts, how the liberated person. So the previous verses describe the materialist. So these verses are talking about the liberated person. So it says the liberated person, he na duhyati. This is the yesterday's verse or the previous verse. Na duhyanti. He's not doing his swadharma for the kamarta hetu. He's not doing it for the reason of sense gratification. So here the same word swadharma. Swadharma means that this is our own duty, our own swadharma. Just like we were talking yesterday about Varnashram. So we have our own varna, we have our own duty that we perform. This is natural to have sadharma. But there's two ways to do this duty. And we learn in the purport what those two ways are. Uh, I'll tell you in just a minute. I said already actually, pravritti and nivritti. So, then Prabhupada says that this is the best way to act because of complete purification of consciousness. So, parishuddhena chaitasa. 
Parishuddha. Shuddha means purified. And in this, the same words were used in the previous verse. The previous verse said Shuddha Chaitasa. This one says Parishuddhena Chaitasa. So that means by purified consciousness. And then Prabhupada adds, and by thus executing the so-called material duties, because these are the same duties. Somebody is doing farming for sense gratification. And somebody else is, one is planting vegetables just for sense gratification, to eat those vegetables. Another one is planting vegetables, sabji, for offering to Krishna and distributing prasad to the devotees and taking prasad also. So this is the difference. Pravritti, nivritti. So Prabhupada says that executing so-called material activities. These are not material activities, but they appear to be material activities. He can easily enter the kingdom of God. So this is the way to do your duty to enter the kingdom of God. So now Prabhupada gives the purport. So here the word nivritti dharma nirata. So first line, nivritti dharma nirata. It means constantly engaging and executing religious activities for detachment. So what does that mean? Nivritti. Nivritti means detachment. Dharma means religious duties what we should do, our duty. And nirata means constantly engaging. Con we are always doing this. So there's two kinds, Prabhupada says, there's two kinds of religious performances. One is pravritti dharma. The other is nibritti dharma. Which means religious activities this pravritti dharma means religious activities that are performed by grihamedhis. He says grihamedhi for elevation to the higher planets or for economic prosperity. Economic prosperity means getting money. And why do you get money? Prabhupada says the, the final aim is for sense gratification. So we know these three words, dharma, what comes next, artha, and kama. So we do dharma for money to get to purchase sense gratification. So this is called grihmedhi, or pravitti, pravitti dharma, Prabhupada is explaining. So every one of us in this world has come here, Prabhupada explains, with a sense of overlordship. Overlordship means we want to be the lord of everything. We want to control and we want to enjoy. So this is called pravritti. But the opposite type the opposite type of dharma, or religious performance, Prabhupada translates, is called nibritti. And that's to act for the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna. So, engaged in devotional service in Krishna consciousness, one has no proprietorship claim. So that means, Prabhupada means nirmama. No proprietorship claim. Proprietorship just means ownership. So it means I want to own something. I want to take. It's mine. Mama. Mama means mine. So everybody's getting something. I want this. I want this. This is mine. 
So no, near mama. Near means not mama. So he has no claim. Means the devotee he doesn't want to make a claim. Nor is one situated in the false egoism thinking that he is God or the master. So that's nirahankrita. The next word, nirmama, then nirahankrita. So he's not, he doesn't want to be the master or God or something. He always thinks, so then he doesn't want to be the master. What is he? The servant. Dasanu das. So he is the servant of the servant. That's the idea of the Vaishnava. So he always thinks of himself as the servant. And that is the process of purifying the consciousness. So here it says, Parishuddhena uh, Chaitasa. Parishuddhena means purified. Chaitasa, consciousness. So, where's Kunji Bihari? Parishuddhena, uh, Tritya Vibhakti. Chaitasa also, Tritya, no? Different form. You all know, huh? Sanskrit. So, Chaitasa. The process of purifying consciousness. So with pure consciousness, parishuddha chaitasa, and in the previous verse, it said shuddha chaitasa, shuddha chaitasa, only one can enter into the kingdom of God. So pure, we want pure consciousness. So what does that mean, pure consciousness? It means nirmama, Nirahankara. So, and doing the uh, Swadharma, but uh, with uh, Nibriti. Nibriti Swadharma. So, then Prabhupada says, uh, with pure consciousness only. Materialistic persons, in their elevated condition, can enter any one of the planets within this material world. But all are subjected to dissolution over and over again. Dissolution means dissolve, not uh, illusion. It means dissolve. So that means materialistic persons in their elevated condition. So. All these people that you see, materialists, they're not elevated. They're doing, there's three kinds of karma. Karma, akarma, and bikarma. So most people, they're doing bikarma. They're not doing karma. So bikarma. But if they're doing karma, then they can be elevated. Actual Sudharma. If somebody is following Sudharma, then he can be elevated to the higher planets. Swargaloka. But Krishna says, Te Tang, uh, what is that? Te Tang Bhutva Swargalokang Vishalang Kshine Punye Martilokang Vishanti. So, Tetang, Bhutva, so they they became, they're now in Swargalok. So then, <coughs> Kshine Punya, but when the Punya is finished, they, they got some Punya in their life because they were doing Swadharma. They were doing their duty according to Barna, ashrama, so doing their swadharma nicely and they got punya by following all the rules. Dharma means rules. So they got elevated to swarga, swargalok. 
but kshine punye. So when that kshina, when it's finished, martyalokang bishanti. So then they bishanti means they return. They enter back into martyaloka. That means they come back down. So this is uh, the nature of. And here, these, but these are elevated persons. They're going to Swargaloka. They're going high, up. But then Krishna says, Evang trai dharmang anuprapanna. So they, these people, they're people who trai dharmam. They're following the three Vedas. They're following these three forms of dharma. So this is elevated. These are people who are advanced people in the world. But Krishna says that this gatagatang, uh, gatagatang uh, kama kama uh, labante. So the kama kamas, these people who are desiring something, they still have desires. They do punya, but they have kama. They want to be elevated somehow. The subtle desire. Not like everyone we see. They don't want a, a new, uh, what is it, some car, some fancy car, Mercedes, Audi, something. No, they don't want that kind of, that kind of sense gratification. They have very subtle desire. They want heaven, they, they do punya, but vishanti and uh, gatagata. Gatagata means coming and going. Gata, going, agata, coming. So coming and going, that's the nature. Because labhante, they, they, and that's what they get, labhante, they get gatagata. So this is a, basically the same thing, Krishna is uh, Kapila, Kapila, no? yeah, is saying that uh, they can enter any one of the planets, and then they go back to Martiloka, because all the planets are dissolving. They're born, they dissolve. So, beginning and end. So here we're talking about dharma. This uh, we see sudharma, and in the previous verse also sudharma. And Prabhupada is saying pravritti dharma and nibritti dharma. So the, just in the beginning of Bhagavatam, it says dharma projita kaita votra paramo nirmatsara nangsata. Dharma Projita. So this Bhagavat, it stands for the higher Dharma. What is the highest Dharma? Savai Pungsang Pro Dharma Yadho Bhaktir Hokkaje Aitiki Apratiyata Yatma Suprasiddhati. So then the Atma is satisfied by the highest Dharma. Pro Dharma. That's the highest dharma, bhakti to adhokacha, the supreme lord, to Krishna. That's the real dharma, or svadharma. But the, the other dharma, pravritti dharma, that's, the Bhagavatam says, dharma projita kaita votra paramo nematsara anaksa. Dharma projita kaitava, kaitava dharma. Kaitava means that this is a, not, not a, the proper dharma. There's a dharma called dasyu dharma. So there are many dharmas. So even the dasyu, even the thief has uh, dharma. What is it in Hindi? How do you say? Chor. chor. I know chor, but there's no word like dasyu. Huh? No. Anyway, dasyu means chor. So. There's a dharma for thieves, and Prabhupada explains that in English we say honor among thieves. So you and I, we steal something, 
then because we're honorable with each other, we've taken from you, but then we say, okay, we will share. This is half yours, this is half mine. So this is, this is thieves' dasyu dharma. So there are many dharmas, but the highest dharma is nivritti dharma, or we also understand even more clearly, paro dharma yuto bhakti adhokache, that it's the dharma that we do for adhokache, to connect bhakti, to do service to the Supreme Lord. And this gives satisfaction to the soul. Uh, atma suprasiddhi. Atma suprasiddhi is satisfied. So everyone out in this world is doing vikarma, not even trying to do punya. They're doing vikarma and they're taking so much. Not near mama. There, everything is mama. Everything is mine. Taking so much. They're taking all the forests, cutting down all the forests, taking the oil, taking the everything, whatever they can take. Loba, loba. This is the their desire. Just to collect so many things. So what is the result of their activity? They're not atma suprasiddhati. They're not satisfied. They're never satisfied. They keep taking, taking. They're not satisfied. So Bhagavatam also says, dharma svanushita pungsang vishraksena katasuya na utpadiyet yadi rating Shrama eva hi kevalam. So, dharma svanushta tapungsang. This is like sudharma, svanushta tapungsang. So, it's the dharma, the svadharma, that this duty that we do. But yadi agar, if it does not uh, yadi uh, produce uh, rati. So, there should be some taste. That taste is in relation to Krishna. Then if there's no taste in that duty, then it's Shrama. Eva hi kevalam. So three times. Definitely, positively, absolutely. Shrama. It means... Uh, just useless labor, just working like an ass, working like uh, with nothing, just producing uh, sweat. That's the kind of work that uh, these people are doing because there's no taste in bhakti that's satisfying the soul, atma, Suprasiddhati. And we learn in this verse that these are the qualities. This, this, uh, uh, first, what is the first word there? Nivritti dharma, yes. Nivritti dharma, then it's characterized by nirmama and nirahankara or nirahankrita, and then. Parishuddhena. Parishuddha chaitas. Parishuddhena chaitas. So, it, it, then uh, by doing this nirmama, nirahankara, this kind of sadharma, nibiriti dharma, then the consciousness becomes purified, the chaitasa becomes purified. Uh, shuddha, parishuddha. And in the next verse, I know I, I'm not supposed to do this, but the three are linked, actually. In the next verse, it says, Yanti purusham uh, vishrato mukham. So, yanti, so they, 
this verse say yay? No, the previous verse. Anyway, so what happens when you do Nivritti Dharma? Yanti Purushang Vishwatomukha. So then you go to Krishna. It says that Purusham means the Supreme Person. And Vishwatomukha who sees everywhere. He's all pervasive. He can see everything. So this is the the way that uh, Kapil Dev is explaining how to make spiritual advancement. It's so simple. It seems simple to us. We hear this all the time. We're, this is our regular life. We we are hearing this practically every day. But it's it's difficult to practice. We uh, we hear it and we practice it. Re we hear it, it reminds us the, how, why we are practicing. Atma uh, suprasiddhati, because we're practicing to get satisfaction in the soul. And to achieve rati, to do, uh, get some taste, some affection for serving Krishna. So we are trying. We are doing our sadhana, we are doing our works, so dharma for Krishna. But all of these people, especially these, uh, I just came from Mumbai. I can't stop thinking about Mumbai. That uh, these people, they're the, the biggest uh, vikarmis. Sometimes we say, uh, oh, he's just a karmi. In ISKCON we have that expression. He's a karmi. But karmi is advanced. He's he, Karmi will go to Swarg. He's going up. These are Vikarmis. They're on their way down. And they're, they're so greedy. Lobe. They have so much lobe that we don't know what's going to happen to their children, grandchildren. They're causing so much trouble in the world that who knows what kind of trouble they're going to cause in the future. There's so much disturbance. So definitely be karmis. So this is a nice verse. But we, uh, we have this philosophy in Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam. We learn about uh, karma. We learn about dharma. And these ideas are, are very advanced. Every religion is, is good. Uh, Christian, Buddha, Buddhist, Islam. They teach not to be greedy. They teach to be uh, uh, connect with God. So that's good. But this Bhagavat philosophy, Bhagavat religion, Bhagavat Dharma, the Bhagavad Gita, they teach the science, karma and dharma. So here's the science. It's telling exactly nirmama, nirahankara, uh, parishuddha chetas, and then yanti purushang, everything very uh, uh, precise, technical, explaining. I, I especially like, this is a little off the topic, but I especially like dhyayato vishayan punksa sangha ste shupajayate, sangha sangjayate kama. So this is a very precise uh, analysis of desire. So dhyayato vishayan, when we think about the objects of the senses, we think about the vishayan, means the the taste and the smell and the things we see. So those are vishayan, taito vishayan, sangha. Then we want to, sangha, we want to be connected, sangha, or we want to, to be attached to that. Sanghat sangjayati kama, desire. So it's such a wonderful description, very 
uh, the exact mechanics. It's like a manual. When you look at uh, for a machine, there's a book that comes with it. It, it. it explains. You push this button, you put this thing here. So Krishna is explaining karma, dharma, pravritti dharma, nivritti dharma. Such a nice, very careful explanation. And Prabhupada calls this a science. No wonder he calls it a science. It's such a nice, uh, very specific, technical discussion. And it, this other science has nothing in comparison. Nothing. They're just producing destruction, destroying the planet. But here, uh, Kapil Dev in Bhagavat and Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, they're explaining very nicely exactly why things are happening the way they're happening. He's explaining the nature, kama, lobha. How do we stop this? Nirmama, nirahankara. And how do we do that? Bhakti. Bhakti. Thank you. Any comment? So this is very technical. If you missed, there were three, I think I gave you three talks. The first one was just laughing and telling stories. So now, in this one, nobody's laughing. It's very, it's very uh, technical. And uh, so if, I'm sorry if you didn't come to the first one because we were just laughing and having a good time. Now, this is, Maybe this is a little boring. I notice some people are just going like this. Sub smudge day. Sub smudge day. Did I say it correctly? Science is a weapon? Huh? Developing through God. I think that's giving them too much credit. What if science is developing through Kali? <laughs> Maybe that's another opinion. Yes, ultimately God is giving everything. But he is also sometimes, uh, Kali is also taking charge of something. Yamraj also is. But I don't like to think that that uh, Bhagawan he is authorized the scientists. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't authorize this. Maya Pratyana. Yes, Maya Pratyana. Definitely.
So yes, everything comes from Krishna. But uh, he doesn't authorize everything. He allows us to be in Maya. Maya Pratyana. But also Ugra Karma. So the Sura and Asura. So the Asura does Ugra Karma. And the Sura is he wants to follow the order of Bhagwan. So all bhaktas are suras and devatas, they are also suras. But the, the scientists, maybe some five or six, Time? What time is it? Ten to three. Ten to three? So time for the test? So what is uh, the uh, chait? I can't read this. Chaitasa? Vibhakti? Chaitasa? A makes triti of Vibhakti. Chaitasa. Chaita. Chaita is is Pratamavi Bhakti. Chaitaha. Then uh, I forget Dutiavi Bhakti. Dutiavi Bhakti is Chaitasa. So because it goes with Parishuddhena, uh, Parishuddhena Chaitasa. It's a different form, but Tridhyavi Bhakti. So that you can know by cheating. See, I don't know all the forms, but that I know. I told him he has to. You you just learn the important ones. This is a special joke. I'm sorry between <laughs> us. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yeah.